Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Optimus P517 coming back at you with another shoe review. So, as you guys know from the title, these are the Nike Air Penny 5s. Um, retail sticker price is $165. The colorway is University Red, Black, and White. So, I got lucky on Twitter with Nike.com for once finally, so I am, I'm very happy with it. Um, these shoes definitely look so much better in person than in pictures, but um, there, there's a lot of cool things about this shoe I do want to point out, but there they are. <laughs> I've tried them on already. So, uh, first thing I noticed, it's very, very light compared to a lot of the other shoes, so I'm probably going to put that on scale just so you can see what a size 11 looks like. Um, the material is very nice. When I slipped them on, one thing that I will point out, because I, I ask everybody, and, and some people answered, some people didn't answer, and um, that's the tough part about buying shoes that sell out instantly, is these do run tight. Um, lengthwise, they're true to size, but widthwise, they run narrow. So what I had to do, I removed the insoles to it. Um, some cool messages on there, which I'll go over with you on the detailed portion of it. But all in all, this is a cool concept. When I first saw pictures of these months ago with, um, you know, I think when Nike started talking about them with the Orlando colorways and a few other things, I wasn't feeling them. I mean, the groove marks right there, um, it, it looked very similar. It had, it has some kind of a, a Finn Baker type of feel to it. Um, and I don't know. It, it was just different. Something new. It's just like brand new cars. Sometimes you... It'll take some time for you to, to, to break it in to like a car that's a whole brand new model from the line itself. But other than that, um, these are pretty sweet. That's all I gotta say. The, the nice icy, icy bottom sole, th these are gonna turn yellow without a doubt. Um, the eggshell from the Eagle concept, the, uh, the eggshell on, on the side, and then the other pair. Very similar. I, I don't think the patterns are different because if you notice on the patterns, you see that black mark right down here. It's same on this side as well. So I think the pattern throughout the entire shoe is the same. So it's not different from every single pair. But um, let me get on with the details. This, there, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's very nice red. You got the nice translucent air unit in the back, but um, let me show you guys these in detail so you can see what they look like and then I'm going to throw these on the scale and on the feet as well. But, um, you know, I think the next colorway is the Orlando's, if, if I'm correct. Keep an eye out for those. Those look pretty sweet. J-Star actually has them on this video. But hang on tight. I'll show you a detailed look at these things. Alright gang, so first thing first, Definitely want to check out the box label. So, like I said, 165 is suggested retail price. Barcode, style code, and everything's all on there. It is a big, humongous box. This is a size 11, and uh, the way Nike shipped it, it, it was huge. So, that's it. Just a regular Nike sportswear box. Um, the insoles, let me show you these first. Red insoles, penny five on one of them. It's got the star right there. I don't know. Let's do this other side. Oh, there it is. And then, show that. That's a state right there. And then, Fallen is what I was born to do, Penny Hardway. So, pretty cool. Just a basic, nice red to it. Along with the shoe. Boom. So, this is kind of a nice, I think, new buck or dirt buck material. Um, I believe this is all the hyperfuse. It's all ventilated right here. So, very nice touch to it. Um, the grooves right there. And then the midsole is that eggshell pattern. Eagle's egg. And then, of course, the signature carbon fiber right there. There's that carbon fiber. What I really love about the soles, it's all icy, but that one cent logo right there makes it really pop. So that, that's a nice touch to it. 
and then you got the toe. Um, one cent logo also on the tongue with red laces. It only came with red laces. Got the swoosh, red air bubble, which is very nice. Uh, part two, heaven sent. You know, the funny thing for me and a lot of people that lives in Washington, you guys, you guys know recently, uh, Azel's Chicken changed their names to heaven sent. So, kind of a, a well, sent with an S, but it threw kind of a curveball to me. It's kind of funny. And then you got the penny logo right there. Um, more of that eggshell pattern design right there. The nice, nice thing I want to say when I put these suckers on feet, this material in here is very soft and very nice. So, um, definitely nothing to complain about wish they would use this material in a lot of shoe because it's very comfortable I almost want to say something very similar to the easy one and the easy two material for the liner so um, but that's one thing that I noticed when I slipped them on feet so on the other shoe it says the storm is over um, don't know too much about the story behind these two sayings so if anybody want to fill me in feel free but there they are I know the first video, the first part of the video, that camera doesn't catch the red well, but this is what they really look like. Definitely a sick shoe. Uh, I'm going to be rocking some shorts for these so you guys can see what they look like. But other than that, here are the Penny Fives. Any questions, let me know. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, one other thing I want to point out aside from the video, you guys saw earlier, my friend Elias. Feeding the streets, him and the sneaker guru started the, uh, a clothing brand called Colors Clothing or Colors Brand. Um, they're down in down in LA. Check them out. I will probably post a link to their website. But cool stuff. Um, they made this hat from scratch. It's got kind of a leather pleather whatever it is bill on top. Um, it's a five panel, and it's got a nice cement print. And then of course. I can't stand snapback because that's definitely old school kid stuff for me. But this I will bear with. You know, if if it was a snapback, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. So this is actually one of the giveaways I'm giving away. So hang on tight. Um, I should be doing that video pretty shortly. I, I still got to round up a few other items. I, I've got some things coming in. Uh, Jason Market is one of them, um, and a few other things. So like I said, keep in mind. Hang on tight. This is a nice cool hat. One size fits all. So this is nice for everybody. Don't have to try and find a fit it. Let me go throw these guys on the scale for you and on the feet. Hang on tight. Alright guys, sorry about the mess around it, but here are the shoes. This is the right shoe, size 11, with no insole on the scale. It's 14.8 ounces. It feels a lot lighter in the hand, but it's... You know, it's an average size, um, not size, average weight shoe. So keep that in mind. Let me go throw these on feet. All right, here they are on feet. Got a pair of shorts on. These are pretty comfortable. Um, like I said, definitely if you got a wider feet, something to watch out for is these are run, these run narrow, so you probably have to end up taking the insoles out. But lengthwise, they're true to size. Width-wise, definitely probably recommend half size up. So, there you have it, Penny Fives. Any questions, hit me up. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I definitely got a lot more shoes that I need to do a review. Hang on tight. Other than that, peace out.